And together we continue with day two. Committing to asceticism in a deep prayer life is very countercultural, and only by the grace of God are we able to join our will and our strength with His. Saint Gemma Galgani had ecstasies of conversions with Jesus about suffering, love, and the cross. She is a feminine genius example of humility. So let's reflect on this. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope of Jesus, as I confess so many times before you, to be self-sufficient in something. I hope in my own strength, but when I began to act on my own, That was when I fell and lost all you have allowed me to gain. But soon after, oh Jesus, you illuminated me. And then I understood that what I thought I could be self-sufficient, it was exactly what I never could have done on my own. I had the will but lacked strength. I had the strength but lacked the will. Before you... I have absolutely nothing to boast about. St. Gemma Galgani wrote from uh, the book, The Voices of Gemma Galgani, The Life and Afterlife of a Modern Saint. And it's from the University of Chicago Press. Humble yourselves before under the mighty hand of God, that in due time He may exalt you. Cast all, all your anxieties on Him, for He cares about you. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Resist him firm in your faith, knowing that the same Experience of suffering is required of your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, establish, and strengthen you. 1 Peter 5, 6, 10 Temptation to feel pride can easily spoil the effects the true asceticism is meant to give us. A deeper relationship with God, we cannot let magnified 1990 be a prideful endeavor. It should remind us how far we still have to go in our journey and inspire us to press forward. Magnify, magnifying the Lord is only possible when we humble when we are humble, when we are humble like our Blessed Mother Mary. She was conceived without sin and humbly aligned her will with God's, accepting sorrows as part of her fiat, knowing that he would be her strength. So then, shouldn't we as sinners foster humility by accepting the crosses in our lives? Holiness is never obtained through our own doing. So by recognizing all good things or from God, we can keep our pride in check. Magnify 90 is not meant to be a public display of mortification. In fact, we should discern whom to speak with about it, so as not to cause ourselves or others to fall into further sin. We aren't doing this for human recognition, but if we start living more joyful lives, simpler and peaceful lives, there will be opportunities to share the cause of our joy and the freedom found in living for the Lord. Sisters, as we strive to grow closer to Him, the devil will try to derail us. If we see temptations as an opportunity to rely on the Lord even more deeply, our humility grows, and it will grow and grow. We know that 
God never forsake us, so we can stay close to Him in prayer, confident that His great glory will always triumph. Sisters in Christ, consider when you have the strength. Now in the considered part of the book, we're going to go over the questions that help us grow in humility. And as I looked at this beautiful picture of St. Gemma Golgani, I love this quote from her. In this world, everything worries me and wears me out, I would say, and waits upon me. I desire nothing, only to love, to love, to love. That's our mission, sisters, to love, to love, and to love. Your burning Savior, and I am consumed. What are you, my God? You are a flame. Look at her beauty. Look at her demeanor. Look at that beauty that she radiates. Simple, but gorgeous. Because she was a saint, and that's our goal. And look, very humble, simple, but gorgeous. So now, get your notebook. You may pause the video after each question that I will be repeating twice and then continue until you're done with all the questions. When you have had the strength to do something but not the willpower or the will but not the strength, think about that time. When you had had the strength to do something but not the will power or the will but not the strength question number two have you thought you could handle something without really taking it to prayer only to later realize it was god all along once again have you thought of, have you thought you could handle something without really taking it to prayer only to later realize it was God all alone? How does staying close to Jesus casting all your worries? This is the the last question. How does staying close to Jesus casting all worries on God? make you able to resist temptation to be self-sufficient? Once again, how does staying close to Jesus, casting all your worries on God, make you able to resist temptations to be self-sufficient? Dear Sisters in Christ, in the description box, I will leave a link of the daily prayers that will help us grow in humility. And also, I will continue to add on to the list of classic audiobooks to help us grow as we are going over this. Um, like I said in the previous video, you may listen to it as you're cooking as maybe your kids are taking a nap, as you're gardening. And today we will learn about the life of St. Gemma Galgani, a true genius example of humility. When I look at her and I compare her to myself, I'm far away. I'm far away from being a saint. But one thing I do have, that I love, love, love Jesus from the bottom of my heart. I love him. I love him. And the closer I get to him, 
the more I love him. And I love Mama Mary as well. And I love St. Joseph. And I love my spiritual father, St. Pio Petrocina, and St. Faustina Kowalski. And the more I learn about the saints, the more I see myself in need of more humility. Please pray for me and my family as I continue to pray for you and your family. May the Lord bless you and those who you love. And to help support our faith and wellness channel, make more videos like this, you may press the subscribe button, the little bell, so you'll be notified of more prayer. You may also like, share, and comment. And may God bless you and those who you love. And also share this with someone, maybe one or two friends that are growing in their faith or that are seeking to get closer to God. May the Lord bless you and guide you as to whom you should share this with. And I can't wait to see you for day three of we're going to continue to talk about humility. Whoa, humility and the cross. And the crosses that we have in our lives to follow Christ. Wow, can't wait to see you tomorrow on day three.